Cleaning and Maintenance The complete instructions for routine maintenance can be found in the Extra Operator's Manual. Cleaning and Disinfecting Apart from the hygienic aspect, it is essential for the operational safety and reliability of the extra that it be kept clean. Perform the following cleaning routine every time. Before cleaning the extra, disconnect it from the mains power supply and ensure that the system is switched off. Cleaning external surfaces. Clean all surfaces of the extra equipment, including the trolley surfaces. To clean the external surfaces, use soapy water, ethyl alcohol, and ammonia-based cleaning solutions. Use disinfectant products specifically provided for rubber and plastic medical tools and devices. Rinse with water and wipe off the disinfectant product in order to prevent possible damage. Comply with the instructions provided by the manufacturer of the product, including required dilution. Read instructions for use and label of the product carefully. Cleaning the touchscreen control panel. To clean the touchscreen, use a soft, lint-free cloth. The cloth may be used dry or lightly dampened with a mild cleaner or ethanol. Be sure the cloth is only lightly dampened, not wet. The cleaner must be neutral in pH, neither acidic nor alkaline. Wipe the surface gently. Suitable cleaning products are commercially available and prepackaged for use. Use of incorrect cleaners can result in optical impairment of the touch panel and or damage to functionality. Note, most products contain 1 to 3% isopropyl alcohol by volume, which is within acceptable limits for resistive touch panel cleaning use. Cleaning the centrifuge well fluid container. Whenever organic fluids enter the centrifuge well fluid container, the container must be cleaned with suitable disinfectant solution or replaced. To reuse the container, clean as follows. Unscrew the container and remove it from its seat. Clean the container from the fluids it contains and disinfect with disinfectant solution. Finally, dry the wet parts with a dry cloth and reposition the container on its seat, screwing it completely. Cleaning the vacuum system overflow trap. Cleaning should be performed when liquid overflows into the trap or any time it is visibly dirty. The container should be checked prior to each use to ensure it is clean and dry. The trap should be removed and disassembled for cleaning. Push up on the quick lock connector to remove the trap from the vacuum system. After removing the trap from the XVAC, do the following. Unscrew the jar from the cap. Pull the rubber splash deflector from the base of the cap. Remove the float from the jar. Clean all surfaces and air passages thoroughly. Replace any worn or damaged parts. Sparingly lubricate the rubber O-ring on the cap with Dow Corning 111 silicone grease. Finally, reassemble the trap and reconnect to the XFAC vacuum system. Cleaning the sensors located on the machine top. Do not use abrasive cleaning solutions on the following sensors. The barcode sensor, the hematocrit indicator, the transparency indicator, the fluid loss sensor, the RBC line clamped sensor, and the RBC sensors. You may refer to external surfaces on page 15-2 for a list of abrasive cleaning solutions. Replacing the paper. Perform the following steps to replace the paper roll. Open the printer's front cover. Press the print mechanism support at the point marked push on the right side of the printer. Guide the paper through the paper feed slot. Hold down the feed button to advance about two inches of paper out of the printer. This is necessary to make the installation of the cover easier. Insert the paper roll into its housing. Close the print mechanism support.
Insert the paper into the cover slot. Finally, reclose the cover and tear the spare paper off. Changing the printer ribbon cartridge. When it is time to change the ribbon, the print will begin to lighten. Open the printer's front cover. The ribbon cartridge is a U shape with the ribbon exposed across the open end of the U. Push on the left side of the ribbon cartridge at the point marked by push. This will release the right side of the cartridge. Remove the ribbon cartridge from the printer. Insert the new ribbon into its slot and make sure that the paper is between the ribbon and the plastic ribbon cartridge. Note, if necessary, press the feed button to feed the paper forward. Snap the ribbon in place. Route the paper through the opening in the cover. Finally, close the printer cover. Preventative maintenance. The extra should have preventative maintenance by authorized service technicians every year.